the the one professor that sticks out in my mind is uh, is Mr. H Dr. Henniger, who was my um, he was I'm, I was in the school of business, and he was my he taught me a lot of I had a lot of different classes um, micro macroeconomics, um, and I remember when I was having some struggles in uh, in macro, and uh, Dr. Henniger invited me to his house, and. He invited me to his home when uh, to give me a hand, and and he said, "Hey, if I'm not there, going inside the house." And I'm, I'm coming from Chicago, thinking, "Well, what do you mean? How do I, uh, you know?" He says, "The door is open, going in." And I, you know, and, and it just overall over time, it really uh, helped you to understand the trust that people have at Upper Iowa. When I think about um, the experience that I had at Upper Iowa, there were a lot of people that, that looked out for me, and one was uh, Dr. Caballero. He always, uh, he always was, you know, whenever there was anything that was going on, he, he had a, you know, he had a kind word. He, uh, he took time to, to walk you to class and just, just have conversations. Uh, and uh, the other person I had a lot of interaction with was Dr. Capel. I think we all had a lot of interaction with Dr. Capel. Dr. Capel yeah. was, he was, he was the financial advisor. aid advisor. And Great so girl. with him, with uh, Dr. Capel, we always had to have a story. And that story was we needed to get some extra money for the next semester. And we, were, we had to go in and talk to him and, and just figure out, well, Dr. Capel, how can we just get, we just need 250 or 500 more dollars to get through this. Uh, and he, uh, he surprisingly, would always, he might not get you what you want, but he would always get you a few extra dollars. And so those kinds of folks. In addition, the other people that looked out for me were, you know, when I, uh, we played sports. So playing sports, it, um, you know, you had folks that always looked out for you from that aspect. Not only were they concerned about you from the athletic perspective, but they also wanted to know if you were going to class. And so, uh, think, you know, you think about from, you know, like I just saw Wendell Witcher uh, when I was at Upper Iowa for the, um, you know, for the first time in 40 years. And uh, so he remembered me right away. And he, you know, he spoke to me uh, about, and he says, you know, he says, you know, you were, you were the best defensive back we had. And I was like, nah, he says, he says, yeah, you were. He says, I know that people didn't, but you were. And it's, uh, and then I saw another kid who was who was actually on the other. You know, we I played the left side and he played the right. That was Dale Padno. Hadn't seen Dale again. And he, I was like, oh my God. And then his son is also uh, is preparing or is interested in coming to Upper Iowa. So it's just uh, thinking about those kinds of things uh, academically, as well as professionally. Any any aspect of your uh, building your life and helping you to to get discernment. All those things I, I learned at Upper Iowa, and I am I look at myself as being an, a very analytical individual. I got that from you know I got that first from my father, but I also got that reinforced at Upper Iowa.